Welcome to the Night Trader Club. We find opportunities in the market and make some money. Before we get into another community request, hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. Don't forget, if you're a subscriber, then send in a stock or ticker by request. Enjoy the video. We're going to take a look at Great Panther Mining, ticker GPL. They're on a nice breakout right now, and I want to see just how far this bullish run can go. We're going to look at a 10-day chart, a 3-month chart, and a 2-year chart to help us out. As far as the 10-day chart, what we're looking at is support and resistance. So we have support in the green and resistance up here in the red. As far as resistance, we have resistance level 1 at $1.07 and resistance level 2 at $1.10. So depending on how cautious you are, if you're wanting to get into this trade, I would say if you're a very cautious person, wait until the stock goes higher than $1.10. If you're just slightly cautious but more optimistic, I would say $1.07 at the very least. And even, even then, I would say watch the RSI at the moment. You can see that uh, today it had an 8% day. So by, by mid-morning, the stock was done running up. Okay, So you want to make sure you're not chasing highs when you enter in this trade if it goes over your uh, resistance. As far as your support, we have the $1 value as a, ver as a key value right here. You can see where the trade keeps getting... The downward momentum keeps getting rejected right here at a dollar. So this is a nice distinct level of support. And if you're a really optimistic person, 98 cents is your secondary level of support. I would say you're not out of the fight if you're over 98 cents, 99 cents, but I wouldn't be placing any trades in this territory. I would just be watching uh, the stock, seeing where it builds out from there. As far as the three month chart, what we're going to do is take a look at a bullish pennant and a pitchfork, an Andrew's pitchfork. So this bullish pennant, I'm going to get rid of these previous lines now that we're out of the 10-day chart. These, this bullish pennant, I'm going to draw that for you. This is why this is the breakout, um, the breakout that GPL is having. They broke out of this um, bullish signal of a bullish pennant. Okay, so. There was a nice run up and the stock consolidated. Okay, so this was the bullish pennant. This was a very nice pattern and it broke out. So right here at this decision point, the market could have let this thing fall or it could support it upwards in this bullish momentum and it supported it upwards. Today it was up, as I've said already, up over 8%. So that's the, that's the pitchfork that we have. It's actually a really nice pitchfork. So because we have this, I wanna look at where the stock can go from here. So it broke out. The RSI is nice. Where can it go from here? So what I'm going to do is remove this. And what we're going to use now is the Andrews pitchfork. But I do need to move the stock, move the chart a little bit. Okay, so we're going to, this is just another tool that we can use to help us with, look at rational, uh, rational stock momentum after it's having, uh, predict rational stock momentum after it's having nice bullish run. So I'm going to connect to the highs and then the low. Okay, so this is the this center line is going is the median. This is where if this is going to be trading nicely in a nice um, bullish pattern with nice momentum and not erratic, you know, Wall Street bets pumping type of type of behavior. But if 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 this is nice healthy bullish behavior, it'll trade along this median. Okay, it'll trade within the bands, but it'll trade along the median. So if it falls out too far from the lower band, then in this lower line here, then this is this has just been um, rejected. Okay, this this would no longer apply. The pitchfork would no longer apply, and the the opposite is the same. If it trades too far out, too high above this the upper line here, then it's also um, rejected this notion, this 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 uh, chart. So as far as where we can go from here, what I'm looking at is, okay, here's the channel it can go. So I can start to see, you know, price, a little bit of price discovery combined with time. Okay, so we have price and time. Be sure to watch that center line. So this doesn't t tell you too much, but what I like to rely on now is the historical value. So that's why we're going to go into the two-year chart. And I just want to see, I'm going to leave this here, and this is going to, in when I switch the screen it'll look different but when we come back to the three month chart it'll reset back to where it's supposed to be so don't worry about that but when we go to the two year chart come on now we gotta load when we go to the two year chart we're gonna pull this over we're gonna look at 
where has GPL been performing in the past? So we can see it had, we're, what we're gonna use now is a line. We're gonna use some lines to find some, some levels of resistance. So we can see some clear resistance. I'm gonna use this high, the high we have right now. So, okay, so a doll, about $1.06. All right, this, I mean, this is actually making sense for this to be a level of resistance. This was resistance in August, okay, uh, through August, September, October, and then we've also seen this level in 2000, early 2020. So let me back out just a little bit more so we can get a better understanding. Okay, so I would say this peak right here, this big peak in March of 2019 will be a resistance. You can see the, the market rejected it at $1.15. So $1.15 is another area of resistance. So if you are looking, if you're very, very, um, very, very, very cautious and you want to wait beyond the $1.10, I would say wait and for the price to go above $1.15. And then you can be, you know, then you can invest if that's, if, if you're very cautious. Yeah, let's just say it does go above $1.15 because that doesn't seem to be too far from here. Today it went up $0.08, cents, so $1.15 is only you know the potential of one trading day away. So where, where can it go from there? The next high, I would say, looks to be right here around $1.30. Okay, so your next high is going to be around a, your next resistance in the near term would be $1.30. And by that resistance, I'm these should really be price targets. These should be time... Uh, uh, signals for you to get in and out of the market when you should take some profits or at least um, just revalidate your strategy if, if that's something you're into. And then the next level of resistance would be, or next price target really, would be a $1.44. We'll call it a $1.45. Okay. So we have a $1.15, a $1.30, and a $1.45. Some pretty easy values for us to play with. Okay. So if this reaches this area in the near term, I'll be pretty pretty happy about that. But if it reaches that too fast and it's out of this pitchfork, things need to be re-evaluated. Re so let's go back to that three-month chart and look at when these resistance lines, or like I said, when these potential um, sell targets, when, when they actually might hit. So we'll look at the three-month chart, scroll it over, pull it down, so we had a dollar fifty. We'll could just go ahead and go with a dollar thirty and a dollar forty-five. So we're gonna look with time, okay? So again, your center line. You know, I'll get rid of these lines of resistance and we'll just talk through, talk through them. I don't. I'll declutter there, declutter the screen. So a dollar thirty, okay? Your center line is the median. That's where healthy trading is, okay? So your bottom line would be, since it's furthest out, this would be your most conservative estimate. The top line would be your most bullish, hyper bullish estimate, okay? So we'll go ahead, we had $1.30. So your conservative estimate for $1.30 with time looks to be around 319, March 19th, okay? I just take that, this $1.30 value, and look at the timestamp all the way down, okay? That was 319 at $1.30. So if you're conservative, Dollar, it'll get to a dollar thirty by three nineteen. If you're, you know, somewhat bullish, I guess average bullish, or just depending on who you are, but a dollar thirty could also be hit if you're bullish by three nine March 9th. And then if you're a hyper bull, or maybe Wall Street bets and Reddit gets a hold of this thing, a dollar thirty could be achieved by March first. Okay, so we're talking next trading week. All right. I don't think this scenario would happen. Um, I would say the average is likely to happen if it happens at all. Okay, so that was that was signal or price target number one of a dollar thirty. So we so we had let's go over a dollar forty five. If you're just you know a permeable, super bullish on this, super optimistic, we'll go up to a dollar five. Let me see if I can scroll the chart down anymore. It's not going down anymore. This might help us out. All right, we'll call it. We'll just go with a dollar forty-four for here. Okay, if you're conservative, if you're conservative. Dollar forty-four, March thirty-first. If you're bullish on this, dollar forty-four, March twenty-second. And if you're 
Wall Street bets bullish, okay, you're looking at $1.44, $1.45 by March 11th. All right. So remember, this thing gets invalidated, this pitchfork and these price predictions, uh, price, you know, fr this framework of price gets invalidated if this starts trading outside from below or outside from above the pitchfork. Okay, so you want to see nice, healthy trading behavior staying along this line. Uh, all right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys found some of this information useful and we're maybe able to use it to make some smarter trades. If you guys have any questions, use the comment section. Thank you. See you next time. I hope you found the information in this video useful. If you have any questions about this stock or a request for a new video, then reach out to me in the comments or on Twitter. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one.